Hey guys, welcome to episode number five of the update. We've made it a month. One Isn't month. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so this is our weekly uh, video podcast to help you stay upbeat and to start your week off on a positive note. So, I have a question. Yeah. When you think of, when I say the 90s, Ooh. what do you, what comes to mind? I'm going to go with uh, catchy sitcom songs. Okay. I got to go with the TGF lineup. That TGIF. Every, thank you. This is Friday. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Saturday morning cartoons. Mm-hmm. Fashion nightmares. Absolute fashion dis- disgusting nightmare. I can't believe we wore half the stuff that we wore. Yeah. I can think of a few off the top of my head. And then I got to go like internet email. Okay. I think that was like the birth of it, you know? All right. Well, you, you didn't say something that I was kind of thinking of, okay. and it was along the lines of... Something that had to do with this. I don't know if you all can tell what this is. Wow. It is the original talk boy. Careful with that thing. That's an antique. I know. It is. I got to be real gentle with it. Like, the kids cannot see this thing. This this, this thing's probably worth some money. It might be, (laughs) but, like, let's just be careful. But this is the original talk boy. My friends and I would think that it was funny to record ourselves and like put it into slow motion and then we would prank call like our family but they knew because exactly, that worked yeah right they knew exactly who it was <laughs> only person could do that was kevin McAllister. yeah but like can you even buy a cassette tape to put in here anymore uh no i don't know I like don't. do they sell cassette tapes anymore I, I don't think so no i don't know i don't know i don't know but this was a great this was one of our favorites one of my favorites i don't know i played with yeah. the neighbor kids with this thing all of the time yeah. And I, you felt like you weren't cool unless you had one. I think that was probably one of the best movies, too, of, our, oh, of the 90s movie. generation. For sure, yeah. In case, in case you are too young to know what this is, um, this is from the movie Home Alone. Yeah. And um, he had a talk boy in it. Right. And this was really cool. All right, I'll put my toys So if you guys it. haven't kind of gotten the, uh, <clears throat> the gist of what we're going to be talking about tonight, I'm pretty sure uh, it's become quite obvious. But Growing up in the 90s. Right. That was us. We were born in the 80s and we grew up in the 90s. A blast from the past. Surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I think the 90s is the best generation ever. It was good. Yeah, it was a good time, right? Yeah. It was a good time. You mentioned something about fashion, though. Ugh. And um, so I was thinking, and, you know, with fashion, what was really popular was Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah. The, you know, the clothing store. Is it still around? Like, uh, I know it's not at Crocker Park anymore. I don't know. I can't smell it when I walk by. I know. They used to pump, they like, did. perfume through the yeah, vents. it was bad. To make you spend money. And Hollister, same thing. Yep. It was bad. And American Eagle. Yep. But, like, I was the kid that my parents couldn't afford that. I mean, Abercrombie, that, and those stores were expensive they were. for their clothing. Yeah. And a lot of my friends had their stuff, but I, like, my family just couldn't afford to spend $30 for a shirt that I was going to grow out of. Uh, well... And, and jeans that were, like, already ripped in half. Yeah, that's but, true, too. Yeah. I mean, I went through the whole frosted tip phase, though. Yeah, you know, well... I did the frosted tips and the popped collar, the double was, popped collars. I yeah. did that, too. Like, two polo shirts, yeah. both collars popped. Well, I would... I, if I could get away with it, I would go shopping in the little kids' Abercrombie because things were less expensive. <laughs> so if I could fit into, like, a kid size something, I would do that just so that I could feel like I was fitting in. And wearing something, yeah. you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, that was just one thing I thought of when you were t- when you said something about fashion, like that. Well, was... I, I think where everyone got their fashion, I, I, I would have to say probably Zach Morris. I think, oh, for I think sure. He, I think Hallie Kapowski, of yeah, course. I think that show alone set the bar. Oh, at first, of course it did. Yeah. I mean, I used to pretend I was Kelly and this other boy was Zach, huh? you know? Uh, wait, what other boy? Me? No. <laughs> no I didn't but I know did, like, then. the polos tucked into, like, the acid wash jeans, kind of like the real light color jeans. Yeah. I still, oh. I still had a pair of light color jeans when I met you. You know what? I, I remember, like, straight leg jeans were, like, the thing. And then one day, it was, like, seventh grade, I think. Like, I felt so uncool because all the other girls that I hung out with, they must have talked, and they all came in wearing boot-cut jeans, and I was the only one in straight legs, so I felt, like, really left out. And I felt really bad, but I remember that phase. And Jenko jeans, those huge, like, wide-leg things. Oh, yes. Do you remember those? Yes. Yeah. I do those, remember those. I, know. I did not wear those, though. Yeah. I, I wore the jeans that you could unzip at the knee, and oh, then they became shorts. 
So you did. And the ones that had like 75 pockets on the legs, like you put your calculator, your wallet, your pocket knife, your cell like, phone. Like, I don't know. Well, what don't was know. the purpose of the cut? Like, just so that in case you got hot, if you're wearing pants, you could all of a sudden, oh, it's hot out. I can yeah. unzip these and I have shorts. Or, yeah, like, or if you're at like a family function, like a backyard basketball game, just bust out. You're prepared. Okay. You well, I guess, I guess so. I guess. Yeah. Whatever. I mean. Whatever. Tearaways. Remember those? Oh, yeah, I had a pair of Nike ones. Yeah. Actually, like, I was, th you know, th uh, this probably dates me now, and now I'm thinking about it. Gavin was getting ready for football the other day, and it was freezing, and I knew that he was playing indoor football, and I thought, well, am I going to send him in shorts? But it would be great if he had a pair of tearaway pants that he could take. Let's bring them back. That he could wear to football because it was cold outside, but then take them off when he got inside. Let's bring them back. We should. For those of you we listening. Should. Nike, any people at Nike listening, yeah. why don't you create some some tearaways? No, but for those of you listening. But make the snaps not so hard because I had kinds that were like, yeah, they're, you had a really Yeah, yeah but they're, they're a pain. And then you had to line them all up again. Yeah. And it just was a nightmare. But any of you guys that grew up in the 90s, if you guys can relate to this, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I think like something that probably influenced a lot of fashion were a lot of TV shows that were out there. I agree. And something that I, a couple TV shows that I was like a huge fan of was Laguna Beach and the Hills. Lauren Conrad. Um, oh, yeah, see, no, you're, you're, nah, yeah, I never watched that. You never watched it? Oh my God, I would no. never miss an episode because we didn't have DVR back then. I was more. So you had to like, if you wanted to catch up and be cool and talk with your friends about it the next day, you had to catch that episode. Yeah, see, no, I was a dude, and it was all about, like, Stone Cold Steve Austin and, like, The Rock and wrestling. Okay. And, like, if you didn't watch Monday Night Raw, then, like, you sat alone on Tuesday at lunch gotcha. because you couldn't talk about that stuff. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess so. I guess, like, in the 90s, it was very... Girls did that, like, boys did this. Was Laguna Beach, though? Now that I'm thinking about it, was Laguna that, Beach, like, like 2006? Yeah, that was in college and, yeah, high school. You're... We gotta go further back, like Fresh Prince Bel Air, love and I marriage. I guess it was then. It just seems everything just seems like forever ago. I guess, but yeah. But I do have all the seasons on DVD. That was like when it was it's still cool to buy like an entire season yeah. on DVD. So and it's sitting in a box in the basement. I'm, yeah, let, let's talk '90 TV show. First '90 right. first '90s TV show that comes to your mind. Ready, set, go. Full House. Ooh, good choice. Yeah, probably that was the first. Yeah, Michelle Tanner. I mean, that's weird that they're our age. The Olsen twins. Yeah, but they went down the wrong path, I think. Right? Well, yeah, I don't know what they're doing, but yeah. Yeah. No, those were good. Those were good. Fresh features. Prince of Bel Air. Um, I always watch the Fresh Prince. I think everybody did. I mean, if you don't know the theme song to Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you know that we can hang out. In, In West, West Philadelphia, Philadelphia, born and raised on nah, the playground is where I spend most of my days. Did we not just watch a video of Will Smith the other day? And like, I swear to God, that guy He's doesn't not age. age. No, we were watching like his he vlogs, and yeah. I was like, he looks the same. So jealous of his genes. Yeah. Very talented guy, too. Very, 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 very. Yeah, Fresh Prince was another one. But but that's what they talk about is we had TGIF, and those were the shows to watch on a Friday night. Oh, yeah. There was no such thing as going on on a Friday night. No. You stayed in and watched yes. TV. You did. You did. And, like, if it were summertime, though, because, like, a lot of those shows, obviously, still today, a lot of shows don't play in the summer because everybody's out and about doing things. So one of the things you would do is on a special night, you would go to your local blockbuster. Oh. Yeah, and you would rent a movie. Or video games. Or video games. <laughs> so I would get a movie. But, like, so it was very stressful, though, because you would walk in and they would line the whole wall. Like, the new releases would be along the back wall, usually, but in alphabetical order. So you would run to the section, you know, find it alphabetically, and almost all the time the new releases were already gone, okay? But you would, like, get excited because they put the thing there, but you had to take the DVD from the back of it yeah. or VHS, whatever, from the back of it and go, you know. So, and then you would, if they didn't have it, you would go up to the counter and you'd, like, try to peek over the counter and look to see if anybody returned it because normally the new releases you couldn't keep for very long. But I do remember that. Yeah. But I was—I mean, obviously, I did it with video games. I don't remember really watching too many movies. No. Oh my gosh! Which my family and I—we would get movies all the time, new releases all the time. Yeah. No. We yeah. Were, there we was no games. Netflix. There was no instant HBO order whatever movie you want. It was you literally had to get in the car, yep. go to Blockbuster or Hollywood Video, <laughs> yeah, and rent a movie. Are you talking about these new releases? Like, what were some of the classic new releases? That oh. You I was really a big fan of Scream. That was, like, I that liked was, scary yeah. movies, and I, that was probably 
But we watched yeah. Scream this past Halloween, and it wasn't very scary. Oh no! It was oh, it's terrible. Like you watch it now, and it's it's yeah. You watch it now, and it's you can't believe like really this scared people. Yeah. Like, what about uh, Jurassic Park? You remember that one? I do remember Jurassic Park. I think yeah. that was that was one of the scariest movies because like I really thought dinosaurs were real. <laughs> it may have just been me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it was just you. I really um my probably my favorite though I can remember Scream, but my favorite was probably Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. Like oh, the original, yeah. the first one, not the not the one where he finds a bat or whatever, but like the first one. I could I could recite every single line from that. I agree. I think the best movie that he was a part of in the '90s was Dumb and Dumber. That's a personal opinion. I think that's the best movie of all time. Is I Dumb love and Dumber. Ace Ventura. Alrighty then. Yeah. Big I gulps. Think, all right. Well, yeah. see you later. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> well, um. Also, like, kind of like along lines of what we're talking about. Um, do you remember the show Tales from the Crypt? Yeah, I couldn't watch that by myself. See, I think me watching that show mm-hmm. and Are You Afraid of the Dark? I could watch that and, one. And, um... But Tales from the Crypt was, like, a different level. Like, Are You Afraid of the Dark was, like, kind of kid-friendly. Like, there were some episodes where I was like, oh, wow, they're really going there. But then, like, Tales of the Crypt with that. I couldn't even watch opening He was, credits. like, a creepy, like... They're, like, going, yeah, they're going through, like, that, like... I don't remember what it was. It's like, like a haunted, it's like a haunted house. And then he pops up and he goes, Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, and I was like, nope. But that's partly why I don't... I, I bet, since I watched that stuff at a young age, I bet that's why that's I don't why get scared with anything. messed up in the head. Yeah, a lot of people say that. A lot of people think something's wrong with me because not, rarely anything scares me. Yeah, you're you're intense. <laughs> when it comes to like scary stuff, I like it. What You're can like unfazed I say? by it. Me, not so much. What can I say? I don't know. Me, not so much. <laughs> well, what about like um, when you were in school, and um, the probably the best part of the day was uh, if you walked into class and they wheeled in the TV cart, because then you knew you were going to watch Reading Rainbow. Or yes. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yes. Do you I remember know. Bill Nye? Yeah. Bill, I remember. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yeah. Bill Nye. It, it, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. that was to awesome. teach an important lesson. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. That was a great time. Like when you thought. And reading Rainbow. Yeah, I do remember that. Reading Rainbow. I can fly twice as high. <laughs> it's in a book. It's reading Rainbow. <laughs> I mean, I, I know we're not the only good. ones that are. I know. Are, I've seen people come at Boy Meets World, and I think that's. Oh a yeah, Boy Meets World was a great show, show too. Oh, Topanga yeah. just got married. I just saw that on Facebook, and everyone was like, "How did she get, not get married to Co- or Corey?" And I was like, oh. "Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It beats me." So can we just like switch it up a little bit? Can we can we talk about like the internet back then and things that we did? You know, relating to computers and such, and CDs and cassettes, because like this wasn't you, around. Well, yeah. Are you kidding me? It's come a long way. It's come a long way. So, <clears throat> music in the '90s. I think that's when I first got my like taste of I want to be a reporter, or maybe a DJ. Like I would sit with my boombox and I would record the radio, and I would be mm. the DJ, and I would talk. Welcome back to Jamma ninety two point three. It's Lindsay. You're hanging out with me, and like I would like do Did a whole you have thing. Any friends? Yes, I did. <laughs> and then I would like record a song. I'd be like, all right, and coming up is blah, 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 blah. And then I'd record the song and play it like an actual radio. And then I would play it back in the car for my mom so she could pretend like she was listening to me on the radio. That's awesome. Isn't it? I know. Yeah. But anyway, so um, I think the cool thing to do as well was to make CDs. But the way that you made a CD was you had a program called Napster. Oh, gosh. Do you remember Napster? Yeah, yes. So <clears throat> with Napster, you could find your songs and then download it, right? And for free. Obviously, this is very highly illegal. So what you would do is you'd find, like, a bunch of songs that you'd want to download. Mm-hmm. You'd select all those to download overnight while you were oh, sleeping. And then yeah. in the morning, you would wake up and come back to it. Yeah. And then you would find that some didn't download all the way. And then you would play the, some of the ones that you downloaded and you'd realize like it was sped up mm-hmm. <laughs> and it wasn't a good version. Yep. So it was a total waste of time. But that's yeah. how you downloaded music. Then you'd make a CD, but then like one new song would come out that you'd really want to put on a CD. So you have to make a whole new other CD. You couldn't just add it. It was a process. Was Napster was a process to making CDs. Well, yeah, one song took four hours to download. Right. And then, yeah, like you said, you download a bunch of them at night. Right. And if that first song aired out, that was it. Like, yeah, it, forget it, it. None of the other ones would download yeah. because it would get stuck on that first song. So then you'd wake up and none of your songs downloaded. That was yeah. like the biggest upsetting thing ever. 
Yeah. And then you'd have a CD made for every occasion. Oh, of course. Like basketball warm-ups and... <laughs> Basketball cool downs. I man. love you. <laughs> oh man, yeah, and then you put them up in your car, and you would jam in the, them in the slots, and then like mm-hmm. you'd run out of slots, so then you would jam three of them in the slot. And... Or if you were really cool, you had like a big book. I had a big CD binder. I do remember those. I did. I think I just threw that out recently. But okay, so talking about internet, do you remember like how we actually had to connect to the internet? There was no such thing as Wi-Fi. Bagong, okay? bagong. Yes, this was dial up. <laughs> Dial up. You had to have a landline, which for those of you that don't know, that's the phone that's connected to the little holes in your wall that um, the phone plugs into. Yeah. <laughs> and that's called a landline. It has a cord. It has Weird. a cord, yeah, like spirally cord that if you go too far it gets tangled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, anyway, it had a landline and you had to dial up. But the worst part about it was, one, it took forever, and two, if you were trying to connect and somebody picked up the phone oh, to call, forget it, oh, and it wiped a, it out, yeah. and then you had to start all over again. It was a world war in your house if yeah. somebody picked up the phone while you were You're like, online. I'm trying to get online. Yeah. Well, I gotta call somebody. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and you could never yeah. sneak online because it was no, so No, it was loud. loud. No matter how oh, you had the speaker. I remember I used boing, to... Boing, yeah. boing. Because, like, everyone had a family computer back then. There was no, like, you had your personal computer. So we had a right. family computer in the main room, and it would be so loud that I remember putting pillows and blankets over the modem Yeah, to try yeah. to doll it out, and it still didn't work. But. Our computer was in my dad's room, so I would have to sneak in my – there was no sneaking in my dad's room to go on the computer. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, so it just took forever. And it was AOL, so it was America Online. Yeah, and you only got 500 free minutes because that's all you got in the mail. Right, and, and you, you – Every time you got, you've got mail, but like nobody really used email, so you'd only get a few of them. I think the most important thing I used online for was chatting with friends. The chat rooms. The chat chat rooms and instant messenger. Which, if you think about it now, is like the weirdest concept ever. The it whole is. chat room thing. Like how creepy is that? It is. Do you remember your name? Do you remember your? Um, I had a bunch of them. I wasn't one of those weird people that like. You know, had like some weird name. Like I kept mine like Mert Man, like Ball Mert Man. <laughs> Mert Man. Remember, like, Balls O Four? I think mine was. Remember that? It was. I think it was Balls O Four, but with a Z. B A L L Z O Four. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? Mine was <laughs> mine was Bulldog Gal O Four. That is hot. Yeah, we were the Olmsted Falls Bulldogs, so it's Bulldog Gal O Four. People used to do like the X. Oh, oh yeah. capital lowercase, capital lower, Cindy, capital <laughs> lowercase. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like their entire like social security number at the end. Well, that yeah, that's yeah. Just, that's just silly. But yeah, um, chat rooms were so you would use that and you'd go into these chat rooms, and every time you come in, somebody Which would is always just like a big orgy of people just trying to see nude pics. Exactly. So <laughs> every time you log in, it'd be A S L. Yeah. A slash S A yeah. sex location. So they'd want it from everybody. And then you'd put in your location and then somebody would chime in and be like, oh, hey, I'm from there too, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden you get a little ding and it would pop up window and it would be that person like, hey, saw that you were from here, blah, blah, blah. And then they talk to you for like a couple seconds and they'd be like, can you send me a pic? And then it was, well, I'll send you a pic if you send yeah. me one first. Yeah. That whole thing. Yeah, the pic for pic or whatever right. it used to be. Yeah. Exactly. And then, you, yeah. But I always remember like signing on to see what my friends were on. Oh yeah, and that's how you would talk to your friends after school. Yep, you just, especially boys. Yep, yeah, and you yeah you turn the the volume on your computer up real loud just to listen to the, you know like the door oh, opening. Oh yes, go-goom, go-goom. Oh, they're oh, leaving. they got offline. They had to go yeah. to dinner or whatever. Go-goom. Yeah, that's that was, true. Or oh, somebody. Oh, who got on? Yep, yep. <laughs> you'd you, look, yeah, yep. you'd so wait. That's right. I forgot about that. What about the thought that you would put into an away message? Oh, yeah, you had to put an away message because if you were just there, somebody would message you and think, why aren't they answering me back? I used to put away messages on, but I'd still be at the computer. I'd be, like, weird. I don't know why. Yeah, that is and I'd, like, Google, like, cool, funny, like, away messages, you know, and, like, like people used to do, like, the design, so, like, it'd be a bunch of, like, characters that would spell, like, oh be back later. That's true. And a bunch I did of, like, numbers. Yeah. Yeah. And then your profile, if you were dating somebody... Just real subtle. Yeah. You'd put like your initials. Yeah. Like, oh, we're in love with a heart, and it just says like C and L for like Chris and Lily. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah. So creepy. So weird. Well, then, um, so before Google, it, do you remember Ask Jeeves? Yeah. 
Jeeves was the original Jeeves. Google. It was the original Google. Jeeves knew everything. That was when you had computer lab, like yeah. actual computer class, and they would actually say, okay, use your search engines <laughs> yeah. and go to Ask Jeeves. And lot, uh, that's what you did. You went to Ask Jeeves. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Ask Jeeves. Yeah. So let's talk, let's, let's get into 90s music. Okay. I think that's a popular topic. Okay. And I think a lot, guys... All right. I see a lot of comments coming in, a yeah. lot of fun 90s stuff. This is going to be fun to go through. Keep If you're from the 90s and you remember living in the best decade ever, yeah. keep commenting your favorite memories. Yeah. No, because it'll trigger us to think of something. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. I saw a couple songs pop up. That's why I was like, oh, we got to talk about music. All right. Which music. 90s music, I, st- I still listen to well, 90s I still, music. all, all the time generation. on DirecTV, the 90s channel. Yes, I agree. The kids but, like it, too. All right, yeah. first song that comes to your head, ready, one, two, three, go. Mbop. Oh, I loved Hanson. I had the Macarena. <laughs> oh, that was a good one too. I think that set the tone for. Dun, 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 that was the original dun, dun, line dun, dancing. Dun, 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 country, country line dancing. Well, not like I didn't mean country line dancing. I'm like, just where I'm everybody in a in a area right, could hear that yeah. song and then. Boom. Yes. I know it. I could do it. It was the only dance that little white guys like me could do at school, high school dances. I could do that and slow dance. That was it. Mm-hmm. And then well, the electric slide. Yeah, I didn't really know yeah, that one. Too. Well, I didn't really know that one. Leave it to me. I knew it. What songs were on your uh, your your love CDs, your your makeout oh CDs slash your boyfriend CDs? Oh, I'll start. Sure. I'll start with. Okay, you tell me something. I'll start with the two most popular Make songs. Out. Okay. Um, I swear by, by the moon and the stars in the sky. I'll, I'll be, be there. That song and truly, madly, deeply do. I'll be your <laughs> wish. I'll be your hope. I'll Who be your that? dream. I'll be your fantasy. Uh, Savage Garden. Let's keep it that way. So, wow. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good, guys. <laughs> that was my dad's wedding song. Believe it or not, when my dad got married. But my my mom's too. wedding song was that boys the men song. That's about sex. I'll make love <laughs> oh to you God. like you want. Wow. Yeah, they're like walking down the aisle, aisle that way. like basically dry humping out of oh, the okay. church. I'm way too much information. To but I was so little that like I didn't really know what it was. I'm like, oh, this is a cool song. <laughs> um, I liked O Town. You know, oh, Chip In Sync and Backstreet Boys. Those were your classics. But O Town, they're kind of like sneaking O-Town. in for the. They were, yeah. You know, it was actually the same manager as In Sync that and, managed O Town, and they had like. Three songs like Liquid Dreams. No, they had a really good CD actually. Oh, my bad. They my did. Bad. They had lots of good songs on there. Liquid Dreams was one of them. Diva, the best singing diva of the 90s. Probably Britney. Ooh. I mean, Christina. Mm. I don't know. You gotta go with Christina? No, I gotta go Mariah. Before she went all cuckoo that she is now. Like, Mariah was like. Eh, eh. I still go with Britney Spears. J Lo came. J Lo came on the scene in the in then too. And but she was Jenny from the block back then. Okay. I don't yeah. think she was J Lo. Okay, well. She wasn't singing Dinero, Dinero, Dinero. True. She wasn't doing that back then. With Christina Aguilera's yeah. Genie in a Bottle, yeah, I think yeah. that that made me want to watch TRL. I guess so. Yeah, yeah TRL, I mean. that was a good show too. That was back when MTV actually played music. Yes. It? Now TRL's like, and yeah, now at number five is like okay. I have to, I have and to go on. Six. <laughs> well, I have to go on YouTube and actually, like, do they make music videos anymore? I guess they. I mean, they do. That Venmo or whatever, whatever the. Oh, yeah, is. I guess they do. But yeah, they. Yeah, I had to actually look and see. Yeah, but no, they. I mean, they're. The '90s music is great. Uh, like hey, when the '90s tour comes, what like about Chumba, Salt and Pepper, Chumbawamba, Shoop, Tub Thumping. <sighs> really. Well, I get knocked down. I get up again. We ain't never gonna get like. Have you ever gone to any sort of sporting event or any sort of anything? Kiss in the night. That yeah, Jumble Wumba. That's yeah, exactly. Who sings like? Okay. What about Hey Now? You're an all star. Yeah. You're talking about like music now CDs. Like that's what. But that that's the music that literally yeah. set this generation. Yeah. I could listen to this up all day. Let's sing a song of the broken hearted. <laughs> 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 Yes. Bon Jovi. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I do remember that. What about, I believe Space Jam alone had their own soundtrack. Well, yeah. Kiss from a Rose, I believe I could fly. Yeah. I think that was a good one, too. Seal. 
we'll steal. Yeah, Kiss from yeah. the Rose, man. Music was great. We could probably go on oh, and on about geez. music. I love it. Oh, wait, what about playing music? Playing music in your car. In oh, a yeah, CD you player. know what? <laughs> yeah, in a CD, yeah. Oh. You would have... Like, in your car, you would have the cassette that would go into the cassette player connected to your CDs player, your Walkman. Wow. This is Chris's. What is that? Yeah. It's a <laughs> lid. I bet there's a CD in here. Oh, man. Is How there? How do you even open it? Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bummer. Unfortunately. CD players, though. Yeah, so you could connect this into your car, and then that way you could play, you know, CD. I remember, like... You'd... Taped up and everything, folks. Oh, that's how you had to do it. But like, remember when like you'd keep it in your pocket? <laughs> Jog proof. So it yes, skip. the skipper. Yeah. Yeah. The skip yep. protection. Skip protection. Yeah, forty-five seconds. Yep, yep. I remember skip that. Skip protection. It was the worst thing ever when your favorite CD had a scuff on it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. But use was, toothpaste. Yeah. Like, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> toothpaste doesn't work. Yeah. Oh. No, no, music was great. But um, I'm looking at my little arsenal here, and it's making me think about like some games and stuff. Like board games? Yeah, or like, well, no, like or, games or that were popular. No, 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 like games that were popular when we were little. Okay. Because I think that's a very important section about the 90s. Okay. So do you remember Pogs? I do remember, do you remember Pogs. Pogs. Like, why were those so cool? They were little round cardboard discs with different things printed on them. Yeah. And you had slammers. And then I think the object was you stacked them all up, right? Yeah, you And then stack you took them. your hammer or your slammer and you yep. flung it down. And then the ones that were, was they facing up? Were yours, flipped. the key. Yes. And you kept them. So you like traded with your friends. Which I never did that. Because like I worked so hard to get my pogs that I never wanted to play the game where I could lose them. Yeah. And so, I, yeah. So I would just fill my tube and carry it around there. Like, hey, you want to play pogs? I'm like, I'm good. Like. Yeah, I, like I, just, I just bought the slammer for seven bucks. I ain't giving it to you. Yeah, I had a Tasmanian Devil one. I did. Slammer, pink one. I did. I don't know what happened to my pogs. I tried looking for those, but I, you know what, I couldn't find them. Yeah, uh, I don't think. I don't know. I, don't think I couldn't either. find them. But what about? Um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna. I was gonna go into gonna pick up my other more guitar. games, but I was gonna go on TV. Okay. And oh, I was gonna, gonna, I was gonna okay. go the Nickelodeon games. Oh, okay. I mean, Legends of the Hidden Temple, yeah. I think, was every kid's dream to we be We almost were that for Halloween. We were. Yeah. I do remember that. But it was one of the hardest... Double Dare. One of the hardest game shows ever was the Legends of the Hidden it Temple. It was. Nobody, Nobody ever made it through yeah. the damn thing, Nobody so it's ever, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I liked um, Double Dare. I do like Double they, Dare. They brought that back. Uh, we're going to go with the... What did they say? Triple Challenge or something <laughs> yeah, like that? <laughs> Whatever it was. Yeah. You reach up the nose and grab yes. the flag. Yes. Yeah. Um... Also, guts, too. Guts. guts, yeah, guts. That was big. That was a good one. That was with the guy who played in that TV show. Um, yeah. Yep, know exactly who that I, is. I forgot his name, but yeah, <laughs> the host of Guts. That's where he got started, I think. Anyways, I don't remember exactly, but um, do you guys remember this? Well, fortune tellers. I do. Where you would like put the colors on there, and then you do all this, and then you flip it up, and then there'd be a fortune underneath. I do remember that. Yeah, this was always really fun. It was like the, it, that was our version of the eight ball. Like yeah. I know generations in the seventies and eighties had the eight ball. Like, oh, yeah. This, this was our eight ball. Like origami. And like we legit believed color. anything that was written on that was going to yeah. come true. Well, and we also believed in playing Mash, and that that was going to be our life. That's true. Do you remember Mash? Yeah. Mansion. You'd live in a mansion. Um, an apartment, a shack, or a house. You would write down the people that you would marry. You'd write down the cars you'd want. You'd write down the number of kids. You'd write down your kids' names. I mean, you could keep going forever and ever and ever on this of all the things you thought of in the future. And then you draw a squiggle line, I and do. you keep going, you yep. keep going, and then you, say, stop. you stop, and you count how many lines, yep. and you go through the whole thing and cross them out yep. until you're left with one thing in each of the categories. And then if you got stuck with, like, the... The crappier stuff, like you, you felt bad. Yeah, you really like, oh thought my God, was I live in a shack, <laughs> ah! and then yeah. like, yeah, ruin your day. Yeah, that was, yeah, no, no good, no good at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, what other games were there? I'm trying to think. What about uh? I well, those are my games. I mean, I have a Rubik's cube down here. Do you remember? Was that really '90s a Rubik's cube? A Rub- I don't really call it a game. I, I mean, don't know. It's more Listen, of a- I don't know what that is. I don't know, is. but I found this downstairs in, like, our boxes, and it's all... Somebody all, I solved go, it. I go, uh, did you, like, solve this? That's pretty good if you did. And he said no. It wasn't me. So I have no idea. I don't know if this is yours. If it is, then... Like, I, I don't know that I, I had it. would have been a ghost that solved it, because it wasn't me. I don't know. Oh. Yes. Okay, let's right, turn, turn it off. off. Turn it off. Okay. This oh, is why 90s the... toys aren't around anymore. Yeah, where's the thing? 
Okay, mm, anyway, geez. that's enough of that. I'm glad Jeez. that it works, though. Jeez, yeah. Glad that it works. Um, I don't know what else. Hey, do you remember um, Movie Phone? Do you remember that? Because yeah. normally you'd have to, like, look in the paper for movies, but then they came out with Movie Phone. It was a universal number that you could call. Hello, and welcome, welcome to, to Movie, movie Phone. phone. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then you hear movies playing you, in your area. Press one. Yeah. You were on the phone for like twenty minutes trying to figure out when your movie was playing. So by yeah. the time you actually got to your movie, it already started and the movie was <laughs> over. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It would list something you'd have to like put in your area code, I think. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then press you would one. Press one press to two. hear Westwood Center. Press yeah. two. And you had to keep for, listening through all Until of them. they said the movie theater you wanted to go to. And then you had to pick your category for new releases. Press one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Yeah. All right, Mom, they're playing at 720. And <laughs> yeah. Can you drop me off? Yeah. Remember that? Remember yeah. getting dropped off by your mom at like the mall? Like, hey, what are you going to do, do today? It. Let's just spend nine and a half hours walking around the mall. Yeah. Like, that was it. That was yeah. entertainment back then. We would then. take pictures in those photo booths. Yeah. Yeah. We literally would be at the mall for nine hours. Yeah. I swear. And not spend a dime either. That was another thing. Never spend money. Yeah. No. You remember Open Skate? You ever do yeah. like Open Skates? Like date nights in the yeah. 90s? Yeah. It was either making out at a movie theater or going to Open Skate and skating around in a circle for three hours. Yeah. And that was pretty much it. Yep. And then you were like, waited till the very end to skate with whoever you liked. Yeah, when the slow songs came yeah. on, you'd be like, what's up, girl? Yeah. I used to like try to skate backwards, but like I sucked at skating. Yeah. So like I would try to like do tricks to impress all the girls. Yeah. They never, it didn't work. Yeah. What hey, about? my dad's watching, so I gotta say hello to my dad. Shout out to. <laughs> I haven't Just talked to my dad. To hey, dad. <laughs> um, some people are saying like the magic eight ball, which yes. Our news station still uses that to predict if the Browns are going to win on Sundays or not. Yeah, I think the weathermen <laughs> use it too. Furbies, yeah. Furbies, Furbies came. I, I did not Furbies. have a Furby. I do remember Furbies. Beanie Babies. I do remember Beanie Babies, and I felt so uncool. Do you remember when McDonald's came out with the Beanie Babies, and then you had to get a Happy Meal all the time to try to collect all the Beanie Babies from McDonald's, and then your grandma wouldn't let you open them because she believed that if you kept them in a plastic bag, it would be worth something, so you couldn't even play with them. You see how that turned out. True <laughs> story. I don't have any. I do home. remember when people were like Beanie Babies. Yeah. They were so much money. Don't rip the tag off. Yeah. I mean, they might be. I don't know anybody that is familiar with Beanie Babies, but yeah, I don't think that. Dawn says passing notes in school. Yep, folded up like a football. Yep. And it was like first first texting. Yeah, that was the original text message. Yep. Was easy to pass senior, in the hall. Yep. Senior girl passed by and yeah. you just do a quick thing and then. Yeah. yeah, 90s soda Surge. I don't know if I remember Surge. I do remember Surge. I remember, you do? I, I remember Crystal Pepsi. Yeah, Clear Pepsi. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I remember like Mountain Dew Code yeah. Red because I would drink them all night long while we played video games. Yep. They said free calling after nine. Yep, exactly. Oh. Let me call you back after nine. Oh, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Because you would have to wait because you didn't have minutes. I remember so like, yeah. remember like calling. I remember going to your friend's house and knocking on their door to see if they wanted to come outside and play. Yeah, or calling and say, can you ask your mom if you're allowed to come yeah. over? Yeah, like that's what you did. Or you would call and like it would just be a busy sign or a busy signal because everyone had AOL. Yeah. You're like, God, get off the get off <laughs> AOL already. I'm trying to call you. I think I wish that things were like the 90s too. It, it was a good time. The 90s Definitely. was a great time. Bop It. Oh, yeah, that was a, I remember that game. Bop It. Yeah. That was a good one. What about, oh, what about Rugrats? Oh, yeah, I loved Rugrats. Tommy was my favorite. Oh, man. Tamagotchi pets. Yes, Heather. I remember Ugh. Tamagotchis. Unfortunately, I could never, my parents couldn't afford a Tamagotchi. Yeah, we. I couldn't afford one either, so I got the knockoff. It was called a Giga Pet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember I that. I do, yeah. And they don't shut off. So as soon yeah. as you pull that plastic piece out of the back, it's pretty much, you're stuck with this thing. Yeah. And the battery would never die. It would never shut off. Yeah. Even when you killed it, it would still beep and it would drive you nuts. Yeah. That was my first responsibility as a kid. <laughs> was that your pet? That yeah, it didn't last at all. No, Dad, it's not my bedtime. I stay up later on Mondays for this. He told me it was my bed. Oh, butterfly hair clips. Oh, my God, yeah. And then you'd have to, like, wear them. Like, you'd wear, like, ten of them in your hair. The butterfly clips. I, I didn't do oh, well, that. you didn't do that. I, didn't do yeah, I mean, you didn't do that, but yeah, you would wear like ten of them, and like, like kind of like cornrow-ish. Like, you would take whatever you take had, a piece, but yeah, butterfly hair clubs. That's how I wore mine, at least. I remember rat tails. Oh yeah, I had a rat tail, guys. That was so long that I would pull it from the back That's of my disgusting. head and chew on it. <laughs> That's gross. 
And then I went to school. Gross. Like, seriously. It was like, I came up from school on Tuesday. I went to school on Wednesday. All my friends didn't have, didn't have the rat tail anymore. So I went into the coat room and took my scissors and I cut my own rat tail off. Oh my God. And I threw it away because I was like, well, I guess that's done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that face is over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. David says pulling over to a pay phone when your pager went off. Remember pagers? Yeah. And he would send like secret codes to pagers. Yeah. Like boobs or whatever it was or something. Yeah. I don't Turn know. Turn it upside down and says yeah, boobs. Right, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, that that's true. Yeah, you'd have to go and find a payphone. And hopefully you had 25 cents or you were going to call yeah. collect. I had to do that a few call times. Call collect. Oh my god. Because I didn't have a quarter to use the payphone, so I had to do that yeah. a few times. My mom would yell at me. I was like, why, mom? I'm calling yeah. to check in. She's like, don't ever call collect again. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you get charged like 10 bucks. Like, right. Oh. Uh, Fruitopia, I yeah. do remember that. Zima, I would think we were a little young to be drinking, but yes, Zima. Yeah. On um, the Ouija board, yeah. My stepbrother and stepsister played mean jokes on me with that damn Ouija board. Ah, well, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna mess with one of those things, though. I mean, I. Whether they're. I don't know if that I believed it. Eh. I, I mean, I tried it, but I didn't. I don't know. I guess I didn't believe it. Again, was not phased by it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's you're, wrong you're with weird. me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's putting the Skittles of Jolly Ranchers into Zima. Yeah, I think that was more so, like, for us 2000s, probably. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do Like, that. drinking yeah. in college. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, what about, st oh, starter jackets. What teams do you have? I, I wanted the team of the boy I liked that he had a jacket, and my dad wouldn't let me. Come on, Mark. <laughs> I had yeah. I had Dallas Cowboys. I think they only made like three teams. Them. Everyone had the same three teams. It was like Dallas Cowboys, Charlotte Hornets, Chicago Bulls. I think I had the Phoenix Suns. Okay, and then they had a Phoenix Sun one. In I there. think I have. But it was like the same like four or five teams, and everybody had these starter jackets, and they had like that big pocket right here. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, flap. That was so cool. I miss those days. <laughs> Um, Crash Bandicoot, that was a great game. David wants to know, did you do open flannel shirts and baggy jeans? Uh, I did do the baggy jeans. I didn't do the open, open flannel shirts, though. I did the inside-out t-shirts. That was big. Like middle you school like and then in that. high school. And I still do that. I always, <laughs> I tr It's weird. I'll get a new t-shirt, and I'll turn it inside-out, and I'll wear it that way. Yeah. That's weird. People talking about the skip it. Skip it was a good skip toy, Skip it, skip it. Gonna bust you in the shin so you bleed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, yeah, though? I think we'll just whip around We'd and see if you can beat your score, because it kept score of how many times it went around. Don't you remember that? It had, like, yeah, a counter. Yeah, That's pretty funny. Yeah. Mm. Outside toys were always Yep, fun. the markers, the smelly markers. They still make those. Yeah. The smelly stuff. Yep. Yeah. Three-way spy calling. Oh, I used to oh. hate that. With a, especially with boys, I that happened to me so many times. Like boys, Ooh. not like so, <laughs> so not many, like that. No, but I mean, popular. like I didn't know. I meant like so many times that people would do that to me, oh. and I didn't know. Yeah, because you could be on the other end and like listen in on their conversation. Mm -hmm. Like two people would be in on it, obviously. Uh, it's kind of shady. Yeah, it was very. You know. Mouse. Oh, Doc Martens. Yeah, those were like oh, the really popular things. Yes. The, and if you had the knockoff, you could tell. Yeah. Because you didn't have the yellow, yeah. well, <laughs> that yellow line. That was That's more in like our high school days. So it was like early 2000s where you would wear these clunky dress shoes. Yeah, but they were cool. They were so cool. Brown. They were brown. You, you had to wear brown. Even if you wore black pants, you wore brown shoes. Yeah. Yeah. There was no black and brown rule. David, oh, somebody's talking about Letterman's jackets, which I almost brought yours up to wear, but oh, you graduated in 2004, yeah. so I thought... Yeah, I still got my Letterman's jacket. I'm I know, living in the glory days. I thought about bringing it up. Um, but um, one person had a Hornet starter jacket. Yes. Yeah. The clock behind us needs a new battery. Yeah, it's always 10.05 here. Oh, yeah, I don't think that thing has ever... I don't here. think it's ever worked. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, good observation. Yeah. Um, bubble gum machines, yeah. Yep. I do remember those. Westlife. You remember that they were a, they were a group. Mm. I'm trying to think of the song that they sang. What would you do if your son was at home, home crying all alone on the bedroom floor because he's hungry and the only way to feed him is to sleep with a man with a little bit of money and his dad is gone somewhere smoking well, crack. rock now. Now, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, this is a PG. Rock. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> In and out of lock now. I ain't got yeah. a job now. Yeah. Pogo ball. What was pogo ball? Oh, it was a it was a half of a 
ball, I think, or maybe it was a full ball, and then it was a plastic thing. It looked like Saturn. Okay. Oh, and then you, you would stand on it, and you, were, you would hold it with your feet and like try to bounce. bounce. Ah, but it was like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was impossible. Toys in the nineties were really weird. Yeah, they were. Like that was entertaining. Yeah, my dad says Cabbage Patch Kids. But uh, those were. I do want to get Ryan one. Um, but I remember because Cabbage Patch dolls were like expensive, and I took a crayon to my Cabbage Patch doll's yeah. face, and I got in a lot of trouble for I that. I used to do like <laughs> suplexes and stuff with mine. You had a Cabbage Patch? No, I think I had like one of those guys. Oh no, I had the 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 DDT. Uh, <laughs> guys would know this. Like they're like little wrestling like stuffed animals, and I had the Rock and DDT. Gavin has the Rock. And when he twits his arm, it goes, ow! Um, Gavin does not have The Rock. I actually bought you The Rock because yeah. you were reminiscing about your day, your glory was, days of wrestling them, and I bought I you that for Christmas one year. Yeah, and you like, you <laughs> twist his arm, it's like, ow, get off my right arm! Because it's like all like, yeah, anyways. So that was my cabbage patch. That That's funny. Light bright, pogs, skip light it. Light bright. Yeah, light bright was fun too. Rollerblades. I still want rollerblades. It's great exercise. Great exercise. Yeah, um, they said the East Bay catalogs. Oh, yeah, you'd, oh, man. You'd circle what you wanted, and it was all really too yeah. expensive. and then you would send in, like, a check. <gasps> Jenny, a caboodle. Oh, my God, how did I forget about a caboodle? Yes. Do you know what a caboodle is? Oh, my God, it was like a box that you just kept all your, like, hair ties in and your butterfly clips Why and Why are you asking makeup. if I know this stuff, then? I don't know, but, <laughs> yeah, the caboodle. Oh, my God, I forgot about a caboodle. Mine was, like, pink and purple. I do. I do. So, co they're coming back? Caboodles? Mm. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Trolls. trolls. Yep, I did have trolls. I used to have one I kept in my basketball bag and I'd rub it every game before the game. I'd okay. rub its little gem, thinking it was good luck. I still mm. was awful. Okay. It didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Garbage Pail Kids. I remember that, but I don't know that I was ever into Garbage Pail Kids. Did I, you? I, is, that I a car is that another cartoon? I think... I, don't I know. would have to go... Uh, the only cartoon I was really into was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Polly Pockets. I remember those. Nintendo Game Boy. I still have mine. Gavin was like, "What is that?" Oh yeah. You play Game <laughs> you Boy. You play. See the you play Tetris or Kirby. Remember Kirby when you get stuck in the air? Like, no. I only boom. played like Super yeah. Mario. On no. it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Those bus poor know. folks only yeah. have two games. Tight rolled jeans. Oh, see, Heather said that Mara wants a caboodle for Christmas. I didn't realize that caboodles were coming back. And it's exciting. Okay. I love it. Super Mario. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm going to go to... Why did I miss a caboodle at Target today? I'm going to have to go searching for a caboodle now. I'm going to get a caboodle just to put all my stuff in <laughs> and uh, have it. Uh, no. I want a caboodle for Christmas. There is a Christmas gift idea. A caboodle. A caboodle. Go into Target and ask for that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'd love to see that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are funny. Just, this is yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to bring back the yeah. uh, the nineties. They do have caboodles at Target. See? Okay. Well, see there that? you go. Go yeah. for it. Ooh, wallet chains. <laughs> chain wallet. With wallets. your Jenko jeans. Yes, I did those. <laughs> Oh, you had a chain wallet? Yes, I had a chain wallet. And I had, like, the yeah, the jeans that were so baggy at the bottom that they would drag on the ground so, like, the bottom of them would get soaking wet if oh. it was snowing and raining. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. The Velcro wallets. Chris still has a Velcro. I'm just kidding. He doesn't. But, yeah, I do remember <laughs> Velcro wallets. <laughs> I didn't think. I was like, wait, no, mine's not Velcro. <laughs> uh, uh, doodle bears. I do remember those. The bears that you color in. Doodle bear? No. No? They were like white and then you could color them? No. Okay. Didn't do that one. Okay. Yes, Dad, pay phones. Yeah. We talked about the pay phones and how I had to call collect sometimes. So I remember like dialing. Call Grandma to come pick me up from school when I would purposely miss the bus so I didn't have to take the bus. <laughs> didn't like the bus? I didn't like the bus. Oh, see? Somebody brought it up. The puka shell necklace. You talked about that today. Oh, every picture of me in high school... And in middle school, I'm wearing this big, gaudy, yeah, seashell. seashell necklace. And then I had my ears pierced, and then I had the frosted tips, and then I, no, I didn't do the full hawk or anything, I did the bangs. So, like, I had, like, these really long blonde bangs. Like, real long bangs. Oh, yeah. It looked like I had a bowl of ramen on my head. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I landed you. I didn't know you then. Yeah, I know. Keep but, in mind. But, yeah, that was the style back then. The double ear pierced, the... I mean, it was it was Justin Timberlake basically. Every every kid wanted to be that. It was a combination between Justin Timberlake and Zach and Moss. yeah, 
You know, somebody said Tommy clone. Like, Tommy Hilfiger was really big then, too. Yeah. I remember, I strictly, I highly remember, I had a yellow pair of Tommy Hilfiger tennis shoes. I wore them with high, like, pulled up my socks to here, Tommy Hilfiger socks. I had a pair of jean shorts on and a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Like, I totally Tommy Hilfigered it out. You're like a little hood rat. I don't, yeah, I'm not really sure what I was thinking, but. Yeah. Tommy Hilfiger was very much in. I guess. <laughs> they said caboodles are a female tackle box. <laughs> okay. Sure. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, The glow in the dark saws, stars, Teddy Ruxpin. I remember that. Candy necklaces. Yeah. The bleach blonde hair. Yeah. 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 Detachable face. Oh, my God. Yeah. The detachable face car. Um, stereo. Remember, like, I mean, I think I had this in my car because it was like, after you the pop, 90s. you pop it off? Yeah, like, you'd, oh, you'd have yeah, your, yeah. you have your CD player installed, yeah. but, like, you'd always have to pop it off, and, like, you had a case to pop, put it in, and you would hide it. it yeah. yeah, because somebody could look in your car and then steal your CD player out of your car. I do remember that. Yeah. Mine was blue, and my white Dodge Daytona. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh yeah, we Sarah. We talked about that. The it was a talk boy. Sarah's talking about this, right, Sarah? She said the talk boy, the voice recorder that Kevin McAllister used. Yeah, yeah. here it is. I, yeah. So had it. Home. What What was the best Home Alone? Home Alone one or Home Alone two? Oh, um, one. I don't I mean two uh, was pretty two good. Two was pretty like, good. They, normally, like your sequels and stuff is they're I, not that great, but they're both pretty I think good. Two is solid. Three. Stick on earrings. Yeah, that was a big. I actually thought about getting those for Ryan. Yeah, because I'm scared to pierce their ears. Uh, yeah. Pump up sneakers. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't know what, yeah. what like the tongue of it. The tongue of, up. yeah, the tongue of all shoes in the 90s yeah. was just so huge. L.A. gear, that was real, yeah, that was a big thing. What about uh, Saturday Night Live? Back yeah. when it was good, when they had, like, Adam Sandler and all those guys. Yeah. Yeah. In Living Color, you ever watch that show? Oh, I watched it. In Living Color. Color. And that's what Jim Carrey, he got a start on that yeah. show. It was funny. It was it was good. He, I don't remember he was his like skits. That one dude. He did like the he did like really kind of like Ace Ventura he looks. Kind of, yeah. Almost. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And then they did Mad TV which wasn't as strong as Saturday Night Live, but No. I used to watch um Martin yeah. Lawrence. Yeah. Chenene. You watched is that when you got into Roseanne? Oh my god. Well, no, I mean I really got into Roseanne in college. My friend Jessica and I would watch it all uh. the time. Roseanne was a big '90s show. I love Roseanne. I don't. I never. I don't remember watching it. Maybe my mom did, but yeah. You remember Bobby's World? I do. You know who I was never allowed to listen to? That was Madonna. Never. Okay. She was like the devil to my grandma. That's devil music. I don't know why you're listening to that. Why did your mother that let sounds you like, listen to it? Sounds that? like a water boy. <laughs> that yeah. foosball's the devil, Bobby. <laughs> I thought Madonna was the devil. Chris Chris Farley. Yeah. I don't think we talked really about TGIF. In the Sister, oh, Oregon Trail. I remember that too. Yeah. Or I remember Oregon Trail when you died yeah. of syphilis. <laughs> yeah. So you died of syphilis. And then you had to write, Are you, you sure it was syphilis? It was something like that. And then you had to write like, <laughs> you had to sure write we were, something. Like how morbid of a game is that though? I'm not sure we were playing a game that you would die of syphilis. Okay, whatever. You die of tuberculosis, And then you would have to write your own eulogy on your tombstone. Oh, remember that? You had to write yeah. like your own yeah, 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 on your yeah, yeah. Like, how old is that? Somebody mentioned um, Stuart. Now, Stuart, oh, still, stop doing that, Stuart. Now, you get over here. Stuart, you get over here right now. Look who I get you. Yeah, that was. I don't wanna. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I loved Stuart. I don't Stuart was my favorite. I don't want to say. Stuart. I don't want to say. Get your hands out of your pants, Stuart. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The Magic School Bus. Yes. I used to watch it every morning along with Arthur. Yes. The Big Comfy Couch. I remember yep. that too. Where she Blues Clues. Get lost in it. Yep. Boy Meets World. Yep. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. Dawson's Creek. Yeah, I never really got into Dawson's Seventh Creek. Seventh Heaven. Yeah, Seventh Heaven I did I watch that. I got in that one too. I heard 90210. Yeah. Yep, I watched that. Because my mom, I think, watched 90210. But I like one. didn't really get into it, but I watched it. I did watch it. Force oh yeah, the Budweiser frogs. Bud. Budweiser. <laughs> Bud. Bud. Good night, Dad. 
Um, 90s commercial. That's Carmen San Diego, dude. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? She was on our floor yeah. in our office. This whole time. I don't think we've ever She's played right this in. game. No. Um, I think this came out of one of your boxes, though. And I've never played it. One ever. of your childhood boxes. Okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure that did. Love you too, Dad. Um, yeah, Oregon Trail. Doug. 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 We dressed up as Doug and Patty Mannies. Yeah. Fresh Prince. Happy Monday. Um, you guys do Stuart too well. Dude, we could do a whole skit on Stuart. Stuart. I don't want to say. Stuart. I don't want to say. Now you get over here right now, I Stuart. I don't want to do that. Stuart. Do you want you, I I mean, I just think, one cookie, Stuart? Just I one. I, just say, I think that was probably the best oh God, sketch yeah. of Mad TV. I actually saw like something went viral that yeah, a couple, they did that Halloween costume. Yeah, it was like it was dead like, on. No, it was perfect. It was, I, I thought it was them. Yeah, those, I mean, it looked it was dead people, on. Yeah, those people were awesome. Yeah, it was funny. Um, did you ever get into The Simpsons? The OC. I was Mary. never. I was never. And I'm no. probably gonna get a lot of backlash. I was, I was really not into the Simpsons. Simpsons either. No, I wasn't. I was never into Simpsons. Never into Seinfeld. I don't I think. I think it was another one of those shows my family didn't want me to watch. Like along with uh, what's South that? Park. South Park. Yeah. 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 I was not. Allowed, I was not allowed to watch that either. You killed Kenny. <laughs> I think my hey. family at one point even like put a. Remember when you could? Um, I think you probably still can block the channels. My parents would put a code on MTV. So what? I could not watch it sometimes. Yeah. On MTV? Yeah. But I think I got old real fast when I kept asking for it. Right. So you're like, all right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Forget it. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Family Matters. Step yeah. by Step. Dinosaurs. I'm the baby. No. Oh, yeah. That was a good show, yeah. too. WWF. Friends. Oh, I can go on and on. The X Files. Yeah. Never got into the X Files. Potato shoes. Wait, what are potato <gasps> shoes? Do you remember Rescue 911? Oh, I liked Rescue 911. I remember Rescue 911 and the scary, another scary show was Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah, you know what? That I would show watch, scared okay, the hell so, out of me. Yeah, because I, would, I remember to this day, they called it a cat burglar. And I remember, I think my grandparents thought I was sleeping probably, but I would sit between my grandma and grandpa on the couch and they would watch that on whatever night it was on. And I remember them talking about a cat burglar, and I still remember he went into the house and he took out meat and he rubbed meat all over his face. What? And he put flour on his face, and I was freaked out. Yeah, that's just yeah. weird. Yeah, that's that, the that one was show I remember. No, I remember that exact. I didn't see that episode, but there was a lady in all white on the side of the road, and she looked like a ghost, and the car like drove by him, and like she was a missing woman or something. And like since then, I never watched that show ever again. It was the scariest thing ever. And then just like that guy was creepy. Yeah. You know the way they filmed it was. And creepy. way they talk, yeah. yeah. Cops, like that was the <gasps> real cops. Bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. This live. Do you ever see that? Cops yeah, yeah. Live or whatever. That's the place. Yeah. Knock off. Yeah. No. It'll never no. be the same. Home Improvement. That was a good one, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, Tom, Lion King. I mean, G Disney movies. Oh, yeah. Those, thing. Yeah. I mean, those were classics. We still have them. Do you know we've been live for 50 minutes already? This is a long oh. time. Well, it's our one month Sorry. special. It's our one month special, but I'm glad it's still going. Yeah. We just wanted to kind of hang out with you guys. We'll get yeah. back on our, our topics and stuff. I thought it would. This is fun. Yeah. I like this. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. The little chihuahua. My, you know the movie that I'm most afraid of in my entire life? What? Free Willy. That came out yeah. in the 90s. I can't. I have a horrible, I don't even want to say it because I'll probably get to see comments of whales, but like, I don't like whales. I got a phobia Killer of whales. whales. Killer whales? I don't do Orcas. them. I can't even touch the cover of Free Willy. If you give the case to me, I won't touch it because it's just gross. It scares the hell out of me. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> um, they said the Mac computers that came in different colors when those came out. I do remember that. You could get like a pink one, a blue one, a green one. Wow. Remember that, the back of them? No. You don't remember that when the they Mac came out? Mac computers in the 90s? I don't know if it was a, maybe it wasn't, no, but it had to have been. In the 90s, I think the computers were like know microwaves. It, well, I don't know if it was a Mac computer, but I do remember having a computer that had a different colored back. Oh, and you could see inside yeah, of it? Kind of. Like inside, inside it, of the monitor, but, right? No, no, no. Like the monitor, I think ours was white, and then I think the back of it was oh. blue. 
I do, did have one. I do I remember the one. monitors that had different color cases, and you could see inside of them, although there was really nothing cool to see. Like the clear the clear phones, that you could see all the parts of the clear yeah, phone? Yeah, like, oh, it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> There's wires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Are You Afraid of the Dark? We talked about that. Goosebumps. Cat Dog, Beavis and Butthead, yep. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah. Mama's House. Yep. Oh, Mama's House, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? Hey, dude. I do remember that. Salute your shorts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, dude. Yeah. They, oh, somebody just, oh, sorry. I didn't even see that, but yeah. Now well, we got some Rugrats. Yep. Anyone else have an obsession with Umbro clothes? I do remember that. Oh, yeah. Because that's, that's like a soccer line, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. FUBU. For us, by us. Yep. <laughs> Trix Yogurt. Yeah. I don't know. Trix Yogurt? Yeah. <gasps> yes. Yeah, the Blair Witch Project. Oh my God, that did come. Oh yeah, out. that was that was the first original point of view yeah. style movie. Yeah, that's what kind of set the tone of horror movies. Yeah. Um, cell phones. Yep. Yeah. Cases. Lisa Frank. Yep. Nokia phones. We were talking about that too, like the cell phones. Like you had an actual car phone. Like it didn't leave your car, but it was a phone in your car. And now they frown upon you being on the phone in the car. Yeah. Back then, they gave you car. They gave you phones for your car. Yeah, and then speaking of which, like with the um, CD player, like I remember my stepdad had the actual stand that you would drill into the floor of your car, and it was a stand that would hold your compact disc. Wow, that's so extra. Yeah, we had that. Was, so you'd ruin yeah. the bottom of your car just to hold. Well, your it wasn't CD really player. ruining it, but I mean, it was a, an actual stand for your CD player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Tells from the crypt, Beverly Hills Cop. Yep. Remember when people used to put, like, neon stuff around their car? Um, like the neon lights? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The 90s. What a great, what a great yeah. time. It made us the people we are today. Yeah. You know? Like, I wonder what, if Gavin were doing this 20 years from now, like, I wonder what he would be saying. Like that the, was so great. Like the 2018s or the 90s? Yeah. No, like he's fast forward 20 years and Gavin's sitting doing a podcast or whatever they're calling it then and talking about his childhood. <laughs> yeah. Back then, like we only had like LTE internet and like, <laughs> <laughs> like my mom had gave me an iPad. Like, <laughs> yeah. But, oh man. The things that he could probably say. Right. But yeah. Oh god. That's funny. Yep. Yep. We were just talking about that too. Um talking about the cassette with your C D player. Babysitter club books, yep. I love yeah, it. that's I love funny. It. No, it was a good time. But yeah. Um keep commenting. Like obviously we'll come back. I mean we've hit most of these yeah, topics, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, there's um, so many things that we're going to be talking about in the 90s. Just kind of reminisce yeah. on the past. That's all we're trying to do. Just yeah, exactly. Like, oh, remember this thing? I, I brought this upstairs. Yeah, yeah. The, like, there's a coming back. The Gavin picked that out because he passed the sight word test. Yeah. So that's what he picked out. Yeah, so. So they're coming back, and he enjoys that. I like this. This was fun. Yeah, this was a good, fun little thing. We'll get back on, like, topics and stuff like yeah. that. We just thought it'd be fun to do for our five week mark. Um, to do this, and obviously next week is Thanksgiving. I mean, we'll still do the podcast at 9 o'clock next Monday. Um, but yeah, so we'll be, I mean, I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. Maybe something about the holidays. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so um, we will be here. And then the following Monday will probably be a little different too because we will be up in Michigan uh, for Ryan's surgery. So stay tuned on that one. Obviously, we're going to have to just see how that day rolls. Um and how Ryan's doing because she's going to have a long day that Monday. Mm -hmm. But that's the 26th, so we'll worry about that when we get there. And uh, for now, let's just keep keep chatting about the 90s and like what are some of your favorite memories um, from the 90s and maybe tell us why you maybe do or do not feel that that was a better time to be in. Oh, yeah. I I know people have some embarrassing photos they want to share. Yeah, share those too. I'll throw, you know what? I'm going to throw a couple up. Something just came up in my Google pictures. I'll throw one up there for you. Yeah, that would be fun. Reminisce on some fashion no nos. You probably won't even recognize it as me if I put it up there. Half the pictures I see of you, I'm like, what? And it's you, what? I'll post one. I will. Yes, we will be up in Ann Arbor 
Um, <clears throat> on Monday the 26th, I'll be up there with Ryan. Chris will meet me later in the day. Yep. And then her surgery is scheduled for the 27th. And then um, when she's all good and settled, Chris will probably head back here to um, take care of Gavin. And then I will be up with her in Michigan. Her and I, she wants me anyway. So yeah. like, it's pointless for you to be there. Just to help me is nice. Because I'm like thinking ahead. I'm like, how am I going to take a shower? Like, can the nurse just watch her for a second? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. She's not going to want to leave your side. She's not going to want to leave my side. But, I mean, but it's what, un- is, that's what else is new? Yeah, that's understandable. I know, and I get it. But, yeah, so but yeah. hopefully we'll only be there a couple days just to make sure everything's good with her band. And Yeah. And yeah. it's not, this isn't as crazy Yeah, we'll, we'll share. Surgery. Yeah, we'll share a lot of updates as we're oh, getting Oh, of course, that, for yes. Sure. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Um, but, yeah, so we will talk to you all next Monday at 9 o'clock for our sixth episode of the update so we hope you guys have a good night and hopefully this was a fun way to start your week um yeah. maybe you guys have off next week for the holidays so that's cool like maybe last work week going up to the holiday yeah. that would be nice right yeah. we got black friday all that fun stuff happening next week a lot of stuff a lot of stuff all right guys have a great night and we will see you back here next monday at nine o'clock bye guys see ya. night <laughs>